would do yourself a great favor as I begin this reflection just by pausing me and going to the link to the late Jesuit Father John Kavanaugh's reflection for this Sunday. A lot of what I say kind of takes his ideas as an underpinning. I was thinking of just reading you his reflection, but I thought I'd leave it up to you. And I'll try to weave in enough that if you don't go read his reflection, you'll be okay. The scriptures today talk to us of creation, but they acknowledge with us, for us, creation as incomplete, imperfect groaning, awaiting our completion. In many ways, this is just kind of the definition of being created rather than creator, that we are deficient, incomplete, that, that God is everything and we are not God. And in choosing to create not God, God embraced a certain incompleteness and vulnerability that is ours. And, and in some ways, this is incredible and beautiful, the, 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 the laughter of a small child that, that, is, that is at the same time free and, and also incredibly delicate and vulnerable. In, in our lives, we find that incompleteness. And we've even, like from a philosophical perspective, called it physical evil. What is, what is missing? What is lacking? And, and we find that across creation, this, this lacking. And, and there are a few ways to deal with this kind of evil, with what is lacking. Our tendency is to push away all that is missing or lacking, all that is ill, all that is broken, and try to build for ourselves something more complete. But if I'm not complete, then maybe another approach is communion, is drawing in even what is broken and lacking so that we can find our completion in God, the Creator, that rather than to try to prove that I am complete, to be able to accept, even in my incompletion, in my brokenness, the opportunity for union with God, where I will be made whole. And, and that union, that, that connection, that community, in practical terms, in Christianity, is found with each other in this communion of the church that, that I'm called not to try in pride, as like Satan did, to create completeness in myself, but rather to find myself drawn into God and make complete in God through the communion that I have very practically with Pope Francis, with Archbishop Gustavo, with my parish that I'm called to serve, with my brothers and sisters, with my family, with my friends, to find there the connections that draw me into an encounter with Christ that draw me into a relationship with the Father that help me be whole, even in my incomplete created state. So this idea of physical evil, this lacking, is one thing. But God did something even more risky. Because in making human beings, there, there's also... Father John Kavanaugh says that the that the the mountains might soar and the and the oceans might roar, but that you and I, we can say yes or no. We can we can choose with freedom, love or hate. We can allow ourselves to be lost in the moral evils the choices that we make that ultimately steal our freedom of gluttony and lust, of pride, right? The, these, these core evils, we can choose them. Or we can choose our freedom, and we can choose love, we can choose communion, and we can choose God. The parable that Jesus tells today is a parable of those who have lost their ability to freely choose. And they've lost that, not just in physical limitations, maybe that's some of it, and maybe an embrace from a community would help them. But they've also lost it in the moral evil 
in their choices that pushed away their freedom. And when we're tempted to isolate ourselves in pride, there's no way for God to bring us to wholeness because God makes us whole in communion by being united to him and to one another. So as we live this week, many opportunities you and I will each have to enter more deeply into communion with each other and with our God. May we take advantage of these opportunities and grow in the wholeness that is our birthright and our promise in Christ Jesus. May we be more united to his word and allow his word to bear fruit in us.